I wanted your guys' opinion, and I'm gonna ask Instagram too, ask all my peeps on there, what to do about these blinds here. They just are not, they're not the vibe, and my mother-in-law said she wanted to replace them. Um, they're not like in bad shape, they're just wood blinds, but like actually this down here is broken, which I could fix that, but I don't know. They're just not cute. Super functional, not cute. But what do we want to put here? Do we want to keep kind of the same vibe? Something different? I think definitely something that's not brown, you know? At least maybe like a gray or a light color or something. I was looking all morning and I just don't like any of the options, so I just don't know what to do. back to do the second coat of paint on the vanity and I'm loving it so far. I think it looks so pretty, especially with the countertops in here. I definitely 100% am going to paint the um, mirror black. I wasn't sure for a while, but now like 100% it has to go black. I wanted to share one quick thing with you guys is I love, I don't know how I lived so long without these lids by these Wooster. So this is like the little Wooster Pelican panel. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times, how much I love Wooster. Um, this isn't sponsored, but I recently, I don't know if it's new, but I discovered that they have lids for this. And it's so nice. So you have like your little liner in here and then I always, I'll put this lid on and then I'll put this whole thing right in the fridge in between coats. It's just so easy and it's made my life, like it's changed my life. You know what I mean? Like it's made my life so much better. So I just wanted to share this with you guys that they do have lids. I'll link everything for you guys below. Do you guys ever feel like the tape is ruining the vibe. I mean, really, like, like uh, sometimes I'm like, okay, did I pick the right color? Do we love it? What are we thinking? And I just have to get this tape off because it ruins everything. Usually I take the tape off and then I'm like, yeah, 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 love it. Hate the tape, I hate the tape. Okay, look how cute with the countertop. Yes, right? I still have to go to Home Depot. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, 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 okay. See, the tape ruins everything. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, love it. For a second, I was like, gosh, I just, I don't know if this is really the, the right color. I was trying to pick a color that would kind of, caught, like originally my first thought was to do black in here. You guys know this. Did I already explain this? You guys have to know that when I film, it's days. This is. This is weeks sometimes when I'm filming, so I can't remember until I put stuff together and what I've said and what I haven't said. So FYI, if I repeat myself on occasion, that's why. But I really was struggling trying to pick out a color for this room because I wanted it to be something that would kind of complement the guest bathroom that we just did and the laundry room. So I originally wanted black in here, and then I thought, gosh, I don't think I don't think that black is really the right choice. I love this. I think it's really pretty. And I don't think, I don't know if my mother in law has seen it yet. I think she's gonna love it too. Are you packing up my cabinets? Well, I'm my door fronts, I should say. <laughs> Honestly, since we're just going down the road, Luckily there's your a layer parents, underneath here. Yeah, your parents live like right down the street, so. So we don't have to be too careful. Yeah, they're just in transport, just in, just enough to get down the street, right? That's why you bought a Jeep truck, right? So you can transport doors down Yeah, the this is why I have my oh, own truck. Oh my exactly. Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dang it. This is a different. These are a little bit different. The holes don't match up with the new hardware. Ugh. Is that going to be annoying? No. We're thinking this one actually goes over here. It looks like it fits. 
because it's the issue that we were having is that um, when we put the new hardware on, it kind of like presses like this and it was scooting the door over that the door didn't cover. Like it was like there was a gap there like that. But when we put it over here, it looks like it works. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna cross our fingers that that works because I was not planning on. <laughs> this is usually how it goes when you try to update something old to new. This is usually what happens. Um, I painted the old cabinets, uh, old hardware black, and then. I put the black hardware next to these and I did not like it at all. Like at all. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to get the brushed knuckle ones instead. I felt like that would look better and match with the hardware. Usually whatever hardware you're doing for your pulls, it should match whatever your hardware is. Like if they're both going to be showing, that's kind of like a general rule. I mean, I break a lot of rules, but yeah, I just think this might. This you mean to tell better. me you don't wait 15 minutes after eating to before swimming? No, I definitely don't do that. <laughs> okay, so what we're having an issue with now is that this space is so much smaller than this space, so we have to shift these over. This is like a first. <laughs> this is a first on this installing with this hardware, and it was supposed to be so easy, but per usual, things are never as never easy as they, they seem. <laughs> now that I've officially lost my patience, <laughs> I'm gonna take everything back off so I can fill all of the old hardware holes and get all that filled and painted because now that i've put 500 holes in this cabinet we're just cruising along huh babe just stealing chocolate what are you doing look at this What's you it? found the they candy have a variety pack in their cupboard so i'm gonna sneak some chocolate you are so funny oh my every time we're over here working you have to raid your parents pantry yeah. You act like have we have no food. food. Well, they have all the goodies that we don't have. Isn't it kind of fun? There's something about like being at your parents' house and just like raiding the pantry. There's something fun about that, right? Yeah, see, I'm not, see, that's the thing is it's not, I don't just do that to my family. I also go over to your parents' house. Yeah, it's just something fun. It's because families <laughs> always have snacks that we don't have. I know, right? Maybe I should start buying you snacks. No, because then I'll get twice the size. <laughs> Mark just... Turned all the power off to the house. Power's <laughs> up. So that way we could switch out some of these old light switches. We don't have the power. The power. Also, I know you're looking forward to changing out the vents oh. in here. Yeah. I know your favorite thing. I'm guessing I don't need to check this, but you know what? You never know. You always check because guess right. what? When you don't check, you get electrocuted. Like yep. Me. Like okay. you did that one time. So I'm taking this one off. Okay. Mm. Woo. Are you having fun? Ah. <laughs> no! There we go. Done. Easy Done. peasy. So the problem with this, with these fans, is that the new models don't match the old models. Like, ever. <laughs> they only go about 10 years back. Yeah, and this is what? Instead of 50. 40? <laughs> So, Mark is, this is his favorite thing to do. And we're gonna see Let's what we can. Let's pray that I don't drop this. Yeah, that'd be good too, that'd okay. Good. Cool, Last cool. time that happened to me. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't really holding on with that screw very well. <laughs> oh, that's usually what we find, isn't it? So what are you cooking up here? What do you got, what so do you got going? So if you ever wonder, will the holes match up <laughs> when I retrofit anything? How do you measure? The, the way, best way, people use measuring tapes all the time. It's a waste of time. Look, you just go like this. Boom, <laughs> boom. They fit. Oh, they fit. My hands aren't shaky at all. So no, we know that's no, an exact, no, that's an exact precise measurement. It is an exact precise measurement, <laughs> for sure. So if this is, okay, so we bought this thingy, whatever. You guys can't even tell what that is. We bought a new pan, okay? 
And we were wondering if we took this motor and put it on this doohickey thing that's very old if it would work but my question is what about if you can get the motor what about the fan yeah that might not fit in the hole we better go so check. we should measure that are you going to measure that the same way too oh i'm just going to shove it in the hole <laughs> which is funny because if we didn't have this here yeah we so could definitely retrofit it into the by the way like normally you could just cut a new square out but there's literally this metal piping that goes up well it's, it's an old, old style metal duct so yeah. they basically used ac pipe duct yeah and went straight to the roof right um which we could remove it and change it out but that means that we've got to take this power source and pray that it's in the right place right um otherwise we're redoing the entire tubing up to the roof yeah and then yeah so it's a lot more than just a cut job <laughs> that looks like it should fit in there. Is it too tight or? No, it should work. Is it gonna work or will Mark die? <laughs> Retrofit complete. Nice! Okay, we'll just have to run to the store and grab a new um, cover for the fan. Before we do that, I am going to go ahead and sand all this down and repaint where all my little patches were here so that we can get that painted, it can dry, um, and then I can rehang the doors. That's the plan anyway, but you know, things could change. Sometimes they don't go according to plan, but all is well. <laughs> back to install the doors again. Fingers crossed that all goes well this time and we can actually get this vanity put back together. I just got to Home Depot so I can run in and I'm looking for some privacy film that I can put on the door that's in um, the bathroom. So I've been going back and forth and trying to find different um, like treatments or something that I would like to go on that door and I just don't like anything. I don't like anything so I'm going to go in and try to find the most privacy film that they have. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, luckily they have some of these different ones on display here. So I kind of was gauging on how much you could see by how my hand looks. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and say, this is etched lace, but this is just etched glass and then that's the design. So I'm gonna say the etched one looks like it will offer the most privacy. And they have this one here. I think I'll only need one that is 36 by 72. So that's a really nice big sheet for 60 bucks that's like way cheaper than any other of like these type of window treatments that i was looking at um so we're gonna give this a try let's give it a try and see how it goes i'm going to go ahead and get this removed i think this will actually be really nice to not have this in here because this really makes the whole room dark like if i turn off the light look at how dark it is in here so luckily this light is is really really bright but I think it will also be really nice to not have this make it feel so dark in here and just dated. So I'm hoping this works and we like the outcome. This already 
already looks so much better not having that on the door itself. So I think, I think we're gonna like this. But first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean it really well, and then I will show you guys how to apply the film. So I went ahead and filled a bottle with some water, some warm water and some dish soap, just a couple drops of dish soap. And I'm going to spray the window first with this and then I can apply the film. And I left my film, I went ahead and cut a piece out to size. I left my film just a little bit big to see if I wanted, see if that would be easier to apply it and then I could just cut it down to size with a razor blade. And then um, I also am going to, you put this on, you spray the window, put this on, spray it some more, and then you squeegee out all the air bubbles and everything. So I just have this little Cricut pusher tool. I'm gonna use this. It does say you can use a squeegee as well. So sounds pretty easy and straightforward. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I immediately learned that it is way easier to have the film perfectly cut to the size of the window instead because all the water behind, you're like pushing it out to make the film stick. So I was having a hard time pushing all that water out because I didn't have mine trimmed perfectly. So definitely cut it to the perfect size instead. My first instinct was definitely to overcut it and then trim, but it's actually like a way thicker material than what you would think. I thought it was going to be really thin. So I know my razor blade is like um, pretty darn um, sharp, at least I thought it was. But even my little razor blade was having a little bit of a hard time cutting through it. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it to perfect size on the next one. I also wanted to show you guys how impressed I am. Look at how much privacy that offered. Like. Holy freaking cow, I think that is so good. Um, yeah, looks amazing. This one was definitely my best one yet, and I cut it so it's like just barely, barely smaller than the window, and that worked perfectly and made it so much easier. So I think it actually looks a little bit better to even have that little bit of a gap um, that's really straight from doing my cutter rather than trying to cut it after the fact with a razor blade. This looks so much better. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how good this turned out. Can you believe it? It looks so much better. And then from this side, we have total privacy. Look at how nice that looks. So of course the vanity is super dark, but you see more of my reflection than you do what's in the bathroom. So it totally worked and I think it looks so much better than having the blinds there. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have been a little bit nervous about the cabinet color that I chose for in here. I think it's because the rugs in here are gray right now and you can't really see a lot of the flooring and it just is feeling a little bit dark and I just, oh, I just haven't been 100% sure. Seeing things like this come together in here and this, it's pulling the room together and I feel like with decor, it's going to just pull the whole space together. Sometimes decor, it's amazing what just, like even if we didn't do anything else in here, if we just changed the decor, like what a difference that can make. I'd love to do a makeover like that, where it's like only decor, no like DIYs, no nothing, just decor. I'll have to do that one of these days, but I'm excited to get everything decorated. I have some fun things that I picked out for the space. So let's do a little decorating and I kind of, I'm just hoping the whole space will come together.
I'm loving the way that this looks with the vanity color in here. This is like tying the whole room together. I should have been like inspired the whole room off of this because it's perfect in here. Just trying to decide if I want to do another one here just to fill this space or is it too much? But I think I really like it. It actually kind of makes it feel cozy in here, but I just have to try to get them <laughs> to like roughly the same height. just adore the way that this space turned out. I feel like it's this blend of modern, traditional, vintage, like all at the same time. I would love to know from you guys what you think my design style is because honestly, I don't know myself. I feel like I go through renovations and you know, I just pick out the things that I love and I feel like are gonna mesh together and then all kind of comes together in its own little like unique style. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. But this has been so much fun. And for a bathroom that we just tacked on as we were going through the other renovations in her home, I feel like it turned out so beautiful. I was, of course, a little bit nervous. I was a tad nervous about the vanity color, but I was right. Once I got the rugs out of here and I got everything decorated, I just fell in love with the way that everything came together. I love the countertops. They are so, so beautiful. And it's nice that the countertops match the other renovations that we did, the guest bathroom and the laundry room, it's the same countertop. So it's really nice to have all of that the same, all updated at once. I feel like that is was a game changer in and of itself. I also love the flooring in here. It's so beautiful. It also matches the other guest bathroom. And can we just take a minute to talk about how awesome this door turned out in here? I cannot believe how well the privacy film worked. I was very skeptical, okay? I was very skeptical about it, but I feel like it was the perfect call for this space and I love the natural light that it lets in as well. I'm standing, like it's right here, I'm standing right in front of it and it is just so nice, so beautiful and really actually made the whole room feel a little bit bigger. I'm um, just having those blinds gone. So anyway, this has been such a fun makeover and my mother-in-law actually, believe it or not, has more in store for you guys. She's been keeping me so busy <laughs> and she has another project that I'm very excited to share with you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, enjoyed all the renovations that I've been doing over at my in-laws. It's been such a pleasure getting to share them with you guys. So thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.